Hey guys, 66 here, and today I'm going to start a guide series on how to get specific Pokemon. As you can see right here, this is my guides team. And yeah, we're going to just start up like right away. So first off, I guess I'm, I haven't really planned this. Uh, I, I'm supposed to help Arash and Andrew with their homework right now, but I don't feel like it. So right now, this is a guy for Smeargle. And this isn't like new set guy, but rather this is a, um, what do you call it? A like how to get guide. So you can have Smeargle with anything. Nothing matters here, really. And first up, I want to teach you guys how to get a Smeargle with the new spore. So let's pull up a Snorlax. This is, um, let's just bring up my Pokemon real quick. So this is going to be Smeargle, and its name is going to be Infinity, because that's what my Smeargle is called. And Snorlax is going to be Slacking 2.0. I know Slacking is Snorlax 2.0, but I don't care. And no EVs or anything. I don't even know their abilities. I'm pretty sure my Smeargle has um, own tempo. But basically, to first up to Spore, this is um, Acura for pretty much any move, you're going to want a Pokemon with that move. So now that Pokebank is out, you can use Breloom, Breloom, which you have to bank, and, or a Moongas, which you have to bank as well, or you can also use a Parasect. Crap, how do you spell Parasect? Oh, Parasect. Yeah, you can use those as well. But since I don't have any of the previous games here right now, I have them at my own house, but I'm using Andrews right now, so yeah, I mean, I, and I'm, so I'm going to have the GTS and everything, everything, so it's easier just to use Shenotic or Morello, and basically the Shenotic, all you need on it is Spore. You can have other moves if you want, but you want a Shenotic with Spore. Now to do that, you see this is a guide, so I'm going to get this ready because we're going to do this later on in the video. So yeah, okay, there, there's the Pokemon. We don't need Age of Slash right now, I just pulled it up. And you're gonna wanna use the Pokemon you always use. For me, it's Lunala, it could be something else for you though. Yeah, so this is, like, just just leave these alone right now, but you, and um, yeah, but basically, what you're gonna want to do is first you're gonna want Shenotic. So my, the only important move here is Hold Back. You can also use any other full sway Pokemon, but for me, I just use, I have a Snorlax with hold back because it's from the event. Now, this Snorlax is going to be very useful. So what you're going to want are some items known as Quick Balls. So I can put down any of them. Quick Balls. So you're going to want to use these Quick Balls, okay? Oh, I believe it hasn't transformed. Yo, Quick Powder OP. Okay, so if you have a quick ball, then you can take the quick ball and you use it on a Morello, so an unevolved Morello in one of the routes. So let's actually pull up Cerebi right now. Cerebi. There we go. Now we're going to search. Let's just small swing this. We're gonna search for um, sh a Morello. I don't know how to spell that. Here, Morello. The Pokedex number 755. And we're gonna see it spawns on Route 11. So I'm Pying Moon, but Sun will be the same. And here we go. So there's no like area. So it's all patches. On um, Route 11 for a 10% chance, but if you go to the north of the lush jungle at night, I guess it would be day for Sun, I'm pretty sure, you can get a 30% chance to spawn that. And since it's a pretty low level, you have a very high chance of getting it in a quick ball, and that, then you just have to level up to get Spore. So, if we look at, um, let's just look back at Morello again. I'm pretty sure it'll be on this here. Where is Spore? So level 36, you're gonna get Spore. And when does this evolve? It evolves at level 24, so let's um, click Shenotic here. And yeah, Shenotic, you learn Spore at level 40, so you can not let it evolve and get Spore earlier if you want. 
or later, but basically now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go get a smear goal. So now let's go into the smear goal here. I don't like opening up too many tabs at once. And we can get in here and we can click Gen 7 decks. And he gets tons of sketch, that's all it gets. But uh, basically what we're gonna want to do here is look at this route two so it's going to the details so it's gonna be day or night at route two and I thought it would show it specific patches so let's just go here to the tw one twenty a twenty percent method here we go okay as you can see it's gonna be on this patch of grass right here so what you're gonna want to do is fly to this Pokemon Center. I'm pretty sure there's somewhere you can fly right here as well, and you can just go go up from here. There's a place, and you'll end up right here with a 20% chance to find a Smeargle. Now after you have that Smeargle, catch it, name Infinity, whatever, have it leveled up. This is for the perfect Smeargle, not just Spore. Wait up! Don't you worry, I don't even roll. So, after you got Sporn Shinotic, what you're going to want to do is encounter a second Wild Smear Goal in addition to your own Smear Goal. So, this Smear Goal, what you're going to do is you're going to immediately you sketch. So, what you're going to want to do is bring your Snorlax, who should be really high level, you've got the event one, and you hold back and hopefully outspeed it. Now, it's going to use sketch. Sketch has one PP, it's going to turn it into hold back. Now, hold back has 40 PP when the wild one has it. Unless you PP it up your, I'm not sure though, I think, yeah, automatic 40. Now what you're gonna want to do is switch into Shinotic and just have it keep holding you back, right? Now he should be at one hit point, so what you're gonna want to do is not hold it, but you're gonna use this thing called the Adrenaline Orb, make it more likely called to call for help. Now once it does call for help, another smear goal should appear, so pretend this is a new smear goal, it only has sketch. Now, it's going to start using Sketch. So what you're going to want to do, you, you have to outspeed, and you're going to sketch the previous Smeargle with Holdback, and now that's going to be Spore, and now this one's just going to use Holdback on you. No, this one's going to be asleep, and now the other Smeargle is going to sketch the move Spore. So it's going to turn into Spore. Now your Smeargle, at this point, you could GP stall, but you would want to use a chest to hold a chest berry before you go into the battle. Now if you have the chest berry, this Smeargle, you switch it in, it's going to use Spore on you, chest berry wakes you up, you have the move sketch, and you're going to be able to get Spore. So, uh, yeah, that's... Okay, I'm going to stop the recording here real quick. We'll link this up to another recording i have to eat right now so yeah um be right back. okay guys i'm back well it's been like zero time at all for you but yeah so after you sketch that you get spore yo what what thing gets spatial really i think that's on oh, yeah. yeah i mean if you just like look at random stuff on spherical you'll see a bunch of weird things pop up Cause there's just so many um things Smeargle gets, but yeah, so you're gonna get Spore like that. And to get a Smeargle, what you're gonna want is, well, you definitely want Spore, right? That's pretty obvious. You also want Recycle. So to get Recycle, you're gonna want to encounter a Klefki. Wait, no, Klefki, there. And Klefki, so if you can search that up real quick, Klefki. Like that, right? Yeah. I spoke Clefy key, whatever. So Clef key in the Gen 7 decks. You're gonna go to the Thrifty Mega Mart. I already know this because I have it. And yeah, once you're there, you're going to. There's a 15% chance to find it at the abandoned area. So basically. Where is it? Just just go to this place, right? Go to there. Wherever that is. Yeah, go to this area right here you did for the ghost trial. Just just do that. It's the easiest way. And yeah, you're gonna get yourself a clef key. 
and the clef key will learn recycle at level 40 so you can do that or you can just give a um a heart stone a heart scale and to get a heart scale all you have to do is go to Kony Kony city or was it another city just go through all your like stars or fly things it's like a chinatown area i'm pretty sure and go to the um sushi high roller which is let's just search this off of Sarah B. Maybe it'll actually show up. Yeah, Malai City. Go to this city and you you'll just look around like a lot, a lot, a lot, because I have no idea where to find anything. And you should be able to go and find wait. Yo, friend ball. Yeah, basically, you should be able to find, eventually, you should be able to find the Sushi High Roller. And you're going to slide here. And, yeah, I mean, if you get to the Sushi High Roller, buy any of the sets. It'll be like a samurai guy, the receptionist, or a ninja with the bread bell, I think. You go there, and you um, talk to him, and he'll... You order any of the sets and you'll get four heart skills or maybe Po will come and you can get eight. So four or eight. And you can get hard skills and move or learner in Gen 7. You can actually learn moves you haven't learned before. So it's, you can learn any of these moves through move or learner. Any of these. Not, oh, every Aside from Smeargle, because Smeargle just doesn't get them. There's only like one move Smeargle doesn't get, right? Dark Void. I thought Smeargle doesn't get Dark Void anymore. Whatever, okay. So yeah, so Smear, you can um, get the Spore. And then you can get the Recycle. And what you do is you go there, you outspeed with Prankster, you use Recycle. The Wild Smeargle will have um, Sketch. Again, find another one in round two. Sketch, now it does Sketch, it's gonna turn into Recycle. And bang, and now you bring in this vehicle, you switch it in, it's going to recycle, nothing's going to happen, it's 10 pp, and now you have your own sketch, which you move or learn, and you sketch that, and now it turns into recycle. You want that, because for the AFK Ditto method, which I'm going to talk about next episode, I guess. So now that you have the recycle, you um, you don't need this one anymore, so you run away. And this is nothing now. Now you have two moves that you're going to want. Next up, people usually like to have hold back or like full swipe. No swore, a damaging move. And then what is here? How am I forgetting this? So obvious, probably, I think. Oh, yeah. Wait, oh yeah, you want skill swap. So skill swap will be what you want next. Skill swap or role play. So I do skill swap. This is for hidden abilities because you have a, only a 15% chance at the 30th chain. So you're going to want to keep keep spamming it just to know, you know. So yeah, basically that's what we're talking about here. And so what you're going to want to do is get a carving. Get a carbing, crap, carbing, and there's two ways to do this. You can either level up the carbing, or you can get a level five one like me. It's just easier because you have a higher chance of quick balling. You can also quick ball a high level one, but basically you're gonna want a mover learner or just have the move skill swap. Now, mine was only a level like 10 or something, no, level five, I'm pretty sure. Or level 15, I'm not sure actually. So at the carving with skill swap, now I go went into a battle again with a smear goal. And the problem was the smear goal outsped me with its 75 base speed stat. And what is carvings again? Oh god, carving. He only has 50, so yeah, but the smear goal outsped me. But that's not too much of a problem. It's easier if you don't, then what you do is you do skill swap, he sketches it, and it turns into the skill swap. And bang, now you have skill swap, now you just skill swap. But I had to do this a different way because my Smeargle didn't even have freaking... I mean, mine didn't outspeed the Smeargle, so the Smeargle sketched nothing. 
and started to struggle itself. It struggle even a move. Yeah, struggle itself. He's gonna start struggling. So he uses struggle. He's gonna take 25% of its max HP. Pretend this is his HP. This is what happened to it. It just started dropping low, like low, and then it eventually died. So what I did was I took my carving and I just used an adrenaline orb right here. Again, not as an item. I used the adrenaline orb as an item, not as a held item, as a regular item. And then I wait for it to call for help. It eventually did on my second try, so it's better if you just outspeed it. But it would call for help, and it will call for another smear goal. And now I would, since the last move I used was skill swap, make sure you do use a skill swap before this, right? Since it was skill swap, this smear goal sketches the move skill swap. The other smear goal faints from struggle, and now you have skill swap here. Now you switch into this one, who now has sketch again, and you can sketch the skill swap. And there we go, we're good. And for the last move, we'll just hold back, just take out your Snorlax. You just hold back, have that, get sketch, and uh, sketch that, and you got all the moves you're going to ever need. Right? Oh, do I not get a damaging move? So yeah, the only problem with this set is that you don't have an actual damaging move, which kind of sucks. Yeah, that's the only real problem with having Spore. But you don't have to have hold back actually. Instead, I have Payday, which is a terrible damaging move, but, you know, it gives you money, so have any damaging moves since I have a high level smear goal, payday works just fine for me. So since I have the payday, um, to get that payday what you're gonna want is a Meowth with payday, Meowth, Alola Meowth, not regular Meowth, Alola Meowth. I think regular Meowth works too actually and it's just gonna be a really low level, that's a good thing, it's gonna be really low level and have the move payday. And since it's so low level, it's hopefully not going to faint this miracle. If it's high level, you have to do SOS battling, just like I did with the uh, Spore, I think. Yeah, Spore. But if not, it should be easier for you. It should outspeed it. It uses payday. Smeargle tanks it up, sketches, sketch and then uses the sketch and then gets payday, payday, and then you don't really need this Meowth anymore. Good thing if it has quick up, pick up, always use that to try to get a destiny, not leftovers, whatever. Now you have the Smeargle, and now you switch into your own Smeargle, which we no longer have, okay. So this is gonna be Smeargle, aka Infinity, the Smeargle. I guess I asked it on accident. So yeah, this is gonna be Infinity. Who has Lepaberry. And it has all the items, all the moves we need. Recycle. It has the damaging move, which is now Payday. That it's gonna sketch, like right now. So it sketches, turns into Payday. It has Skill Swap. And it has... Brain! Brain, start working again. Spore, spore, spore. So yeah, that's good. If you have all of these, then it, it's gonna work because it's gonna get the payday. Now this miracle is declared useless, right? And yeah, and that's how you get the miracle you're gonna want pretty much permanently. And tomorrow I'm gonna start making guides, but this is gonna go up like a later date after I edit it. So I guess yeah, that's gonna be all for today, guys. Hope you enjoy this lit, epic, awesome video. That's uh, pretty awesome and oh, you know that 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 sounds so shit. Okay, I hope you enjoy this wonderfully nice video. But, because uh, that's going to be all for today, guys. Take care, you all. And good.
final bye. Not final, bye.